My dream is to participate in the Olympics. Being born on the year of the water horse, I guess it was natural for me to love the water. And my parents found out early on as well. So long story short, I got into swimming lessons when I was just a year old. But that is now history. I have a new dream now. Good morning to my lecturer and friends. Today we'll dive into my past, present, and future. I was born and raised in Brunei Darussalam. My dad is Brunei Singaporean and my mom is a full Malaysian. I used to be a national swimmer. However, I stopped when my parents separated. I guess I gave up on my hobby indefinitely as I also had a shoulder dislocation injury and overall things weren't working out. Moving on, I guess growing up with my dad, especially in my blooming years, it was a contribution to who I am now. My character is quite androgynous as I had to be home alone most of the time and I learned how to be independent at a very young age. That leads me to my greatest strength, which is my ability to adapt to changes. Growing up, I learned to travel alone at the age of 7, and that was quite scary at first, but as time goes by, I find it really, really exciting. Other than that, I have never called any of my houses home as I moved a lot. And I feel like the definition of home is simply the person that you would go back to, and that is for me, is my father. Following that, while well, having the ability to adapt fast and well at any place at any given time, being alone all the time made me feel invalidated to my own feelings, I guess that is my weakness. Additionally, I tend to build up things inside me and that leads me to some mental breakdowns in my room or my shower. Personally, I believe that a person don't exactly need a role model or a person to look up to. I truly believe that everyone goes through their own highs and lows and learn from that. I quote the 36th president of the United States, Lyndon B. Johnson, We can draw lessons from the past, but we cannot simply live in it. I believe that my goals as a human being now is to become a better and brighter person for the future, to give back to those who never gave up on me from the beginning. I have lived by that and will always continue to do so. Studying has never come easy for me. Believe it or not, I was majoring in chemical engineering, but that is now history. At first, I was very lost at where my future would go, but many of my friends and family recommended psychology, their reason being how good of a therapist I am for them. So in the end, I thought to myself, why not make it a profession? I truly believe that everyone comes from different backgrounds and experiences. No matter how much battle one will fight today, I believe that the victory is within oneself. A quote I live by today is, 1% better every day. Even though I have given up on my dream to become a professional swimmer, I believe that things happen for a reason. To sum up, that is how my life turned from my dream is to participate in the Olympics to we can draw lessons from the past, but we cannot simply live in it. I thank you all for listening to a brief story of my life. Although it was not that interesting, I hope that some will still learn some life values from it. Once again, thank you very much.